All right, so we're up here with Mike and Aaron from Our Wyoming Life, and he and I were discussing a bit of a problem. It's warm, and it's been getting reasonably warm throughout the day for, I don't know, what, a week now, a week and a half? Something like that, yeah. But long enough that all this snow and ice and everything else has started to melt, and it has created this really nice uh, skating rink here. And the problem is cows don't ice skate well. So what we've decided to do is he's going to let me play with the bobcat. We're going to go up here. We're going to get the bobcat. It's got the pallet forks on it. I'm going to come in and try to take the pallet forks and go underneath this because the ground is moderately soft where it's not frozen. But uh, the thought is we can take those forks, break this up, help it melt faster, and uh, just not be a huge skating rink here. And it'll also make it easier to clean this corral out. Exactly. Once we get rid of this ice, then we can come in and get this, this these corrals cleaned out a little bit. So. All right. Make sense? Let's go. Let's go. All right, so we're up here. This is Mike's Bobcat. It's an S630. Um, and just real quick, something I do want to point out, you have the Bobcat. And then over here we can see there's a 6410 with a loader on it. And then just on the other side of my pickup, there's a 6420 with a loader on it. Um, having a loader tractor is great, but this Bobcat is gonna fit a whole lot more easily into these corrals than either one of those tractors right. would, even with the loaders off of them. Mm -hmm. And true. the lifting capacity on something like this, even being this much smaller, has gotta be pretty close to what those tractors can lift, isn't it? Pretty close. This one, I think it's uh, 2,200 pounds okay. for this tractor. That's like the tipping weight. Okay. Um, is 2200. You know, the, with the with the farm loaders and stuff like that, they don't have the. You know, it's not like a, a backhoe loader. You right. Know, or when you see the yellow John Deere's, um, those are more industrial. You start moving too much weight with these, and you can look online. There's pictures of these things folded in half. They get bent. They get broken. That's why. One thing to look at when you're looking at a used tractor is check the loader, check the backhoe if it has one, see if they've ever been cracked and welded back together anywhere, because that happens quite a bit also. Yeah, and the pins. I mean, I'm sure the pins and make sure yep. that they're not wobbly and everything else, because if you've got that, that problem starting, it's it's only going to get worse. And to go through and repin a, oh, a loader or even a backhoe... You're going to spend thousands. Giant. Options for today are their four-wheel drive 6410 here or their four-wheel drive 4055. Now in a perfect world, all things being equal, I would much, much, much rather run this blade on that 4055. And the reason is it's a much bigger tractor, it's a much heavier tractor, and it's going to have a whole lot better traction and a whole lot better power going in there to do what we need to try to do. But as you can see here, to get to this 4055, we have to move the 6410, we have to move the baler, we have to move two lawn tractors, a four-wheeler, and a saw. And it is just not worth that much trouble. The 6410 here will do what we need to do. There's nothing attached to it, and it would have to be moved regardless, so it's the tractor we're going to use.
uh, getting ready to go. We're going to load a couple things on the back of the pickup here, and I'll talk to you more about them uh, here in a minute. Come on, Mike. You ain't going to hurt that old truck. Unless you tip the bobcat onto it, that might dent the bed. <laughs> I don't have anywhere to put the camera that's really good. Oh, the pains of doing YouTube. I don't know where to put my camera. How's this? Is this going to work? Yeah. You guys watch me bash into the truck with a bobcat. There's my new little project. Black and old bunkhouse rack. It's so hot. 